been painting away madly, but um, it's a nice day outside and I haven't done anything active for a, a very long time, so I think it's time that uh, I find something, maybe a bike ride or a kayak. Um, I'll have a little think about it. And uh, yeah, painting, um, you know, it's going all right, but uh, I don't know, spending a bit more time thinking about it is probably going to, uh, I think, get better results. Anyway, we shall see at the end. We haven't managed to take the kayak out for a while and it's looking like it's a lovely day so I might uh, pop it in the car or on top of the car and uh, we'll go down to Tempe and uh, maybe go out into Botany Bay have a look at the, uh, the third runway. Okay folks, uh, some serious apologies for the, um, the quality of this video. Uh, I'm filming it on my 0 5 and 4 from 1973. Um, but uh, I wasn't planning on filming, but I thought I'd, um, I'd get uh, a bit of a shot in of where I am now because I'm at Botany Bay and uh, it's nice and it's dead flat and I'm up next to the runway, which I've always wanted to do. And uh, hopefully, I haven't checked the weather, but uh, it doesn't look like it's going to change, so I'm hoping it doesn't because I'll be in trouble if it does. But uh, yeah, just enjoying a, a day out on the water, which is a long time coming. Haven't been out in the boat for ages. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd uh, show you a few of the things, uh, a few of the sights along the way. Um, left from the Cooks River Boat Club and I've got other videos on um, on this site so if you want to check that out um, click on the um, the link wherever I put it on the page and you can uh, go to my kayaking video um, uh, playlist but uh, yeah like I said this ain't 4k video it's 720p not 1080 so it'll probably get about three and a half views but uh, yeah and behind me here I have a um, very very large aircraft taking off it's uh, one of the double decker thingy me jigs see how much I know about aviation and uh, it's going to take about three and a half kilometres to take off, I would say. Anyway, um, I shall show you a few more of the sites along the way and um, I'll pop this up on YouTube. Bye. Okay, up ahead we have a buoy. Um, warning, prohibited waters, uh, waters within buoyed area. Penalties apply. So this is obviously to keep you away from the runway, which you can see in the background. Anyway, I'm going to keep paddling up, um, up this way to the end and... See what's around the corner. Bye. Um, to want to continue on, um, I'd probably have to uh, actually go around because this is the other runway, the third runway. Uh, so I'd have to go around the other side of that runway and uh, I certainly would run out of time. But uh, as you can see, there's a nice big ship there in the background and kind of making me homesick. I used to be a ship's radio officer and um, never got to work on a container ship, but I worked on um, some bulk carriers and some oil tankers and uh, dive support vessels and lots of um, offshore drilling stuff and uh, yeah sense of nostalgia when I go anywhere near a, a large ship like that but uh, has been a long time to, since I've been uh, away uh, offshore um, teaching high school art now which is uh, a little bit different and uh, enjoyable at any rate anyway um, sorry like I said about the quality of the video it's uh, it's not the usual 1080p, but uh, I thought, hey, I'm out in the water. It'd be nice to, uh, to get some shots. And uh, I'm going to have to head home soon because, yeah, it's definitely getting dark very shortly. But an absolutely lovely day. It started pretty crappy. It was raining, but it's uh, supposed to rain all day, but uh, I think they got it wrong this time, thankfully. A bit of a history lesson. Um, after uh, Captain Cook, or when Captain Cook got to Australia the first time, uh, he, um, he came into Botany Bay here and then... Uh, later on, Sydney Harbour, I think because there was um, more water available. Um, but that's where you would have come in. Uh, certainly White Australia or European settlement started uh, at uh, one of those heads there. And, uh, as I say, this a mark of uh, modern technology, the uh, cargo terminal in the background and an aircraft taking off from the runway, the runway at Sydney International Airport. And um, as you can see, I am um, pretty much uh, in the middle of absolutely nowhere so should the weather turn on me it's not going to be good but uh, I don't think there's much chance of that and look at the sky it doesn't look too bad um, so I'm going to start the long paddle home um, to Cooks River and Tempe 
and um, and load the boat up and get home. But uh, so happy I managed to get out on the water. It's been a long, long time, and uh, I'm looking around here, and I reckon an overnight camp over here at uh, Kernel um, is certainly on the cards. If we had weather like this, I could paddle across, but I have to make sure I've got a, a couple of um, good consecutive days because uh, the trip back would be a nightmare should the weather turn. But uh, nothing risked, nothing gained. Anyway, um, yeah, absolutely amazing sky as well. Uh, time to head back. We'll see you back at the uh, at the jetty. I just missed the flying kangaroo as it's la launching off. Would have loved to have got the camera on quicker than that, but uh, too slow as usual. And. Uh, Check that out. Ah! Check out how bright that uh, that sun is. Our sunset, absolutely magnificent. The sun is about to set, and. Um, I am uh, back on the Cooks River, just before, just just beside the uh, the M5. Actually, you can uh, see the little warning uh, signal lights there and whatnot. A little message there: report all traffic incidents. Anyway, um, absolutely brilliant paddle, and uh, it's not over yet, but uh, I think I'm reasonably safe now. I am uh, alongside Sydney International, and that's the uh, the car park over there. In the distance, uh, we have the uh, bridge that runs up to where the car park is. Yeah, about a k, probably two k's from uh, my destination. The sun's just going down, and I have had an absolutely magnificent paddle. It's our second bridge, and uh, this is uh, Cogra Golf Course. Now, if anyone that lives in Sydney knows, the Cooks River is pretty much an open sewer, or it used to be. Um, I have seen a lot of garbage um, floating around. This is one of the cleaner sections and uh, it can be really beautiful in the right light and the right conditions um, a very pleasant place to paddle anyway like I was saying I'm probably going to try and come out on a day like today um, on a weekend and paddle across to Kernel and maybe uh, pull it up on a beach and uh, sleep on the beach but um, that might need to wait till um, warmer months anyway um, I'm nearly home, better keep paddling and uh, I'll probably do a final shot at, uh, at the Cooks River Boat Club. It is just after five o'clock and we're uh, coming back to uh, Tempe here. And uh, all that development at uh, Walleye Creek. Uh, it looks alright at the moment. I'm, you know, willing to suggest it's probably going to become a bit of a slum after a little while. Hopefully not. Anyway, um, yep, when I get back to the wharf, I'll, uh, I'll do another shot, show you what that looks like. It's, uh, as you can see behind me, even more development. That's not Walleye Creek, that's uh, over near the airport. Um, so lots of stuff happening here. This used to be a bit of um, an open sewer, as I was saying, and um, Tempe was called Tempe Tip because. Uh, a lot of the parkland that's around here, uh, see over here, there's a bike path that runs along here. All of that was actually um, Sydney's uh, 
waste disposal. So there was a very bad spill coming from this place for quite a while. Um, and then suddenly uh, it's um, valuable property again uh, once the, uh, the smell is gone. Anyway, um, yep, like I said, uh, we'll, uh, we'll film again when we get to the wharf and, uh, and that'll be the end of another um, day of uh, paddling that uh, I'm very glad that I decided to take. Um, weather's been very mild, um, didn't have to put the jumper on and it's just been a really nice trip. Bye.